I mentioned in a previous video that most of the traveling I've done has been via my kitchen, and that's true for the most part. I haven't been many places. I did manage to make it to Montreal in 2018, though, and ate a few of their sandwich specialties. An all-dressed dog from Jibbo Orange Julep, smoked meat sandwich from Schwartz's, bagels from St. Fiatur, poutines and hot chicken sandwiches with gravy and peas. Recently, though, Sandwich Dad, my friend and expert in all things Canada, made me aware of the Walensky Special. Since I heard of it, I have been regretting missing out on that experience while I was in Montreal. Opened in 1932, Walensky's Light Lunch in the Mile End neighborhood of Montreal is, along with Schwartz's and St. Viator and Fairmount Bagels, an institution of Montreal and of the culture built by Eastern European Jewish immigrants who moved into that area of the city a hundred years ago. Walensky's has some rules. They won't tell you where they got the bread, they won't serve you a sandwich without mustard, and they won't cut a sandwich in half for you. What they will serve you is a sandwich of kosher all-beef salami and bologna, heated up on a griddle, placed with mustard into a bun that I suspect is made from challah dough, and then heat it in a sandwich press until it's crisp and piping hot. Now, I'm not using the same meats. Mine come from Romanian Kosher Sausage Company in Chicago, though, and they are absolutely top tier. My rolls are not the same, being homemade, but they're brioche-like, soft and supple, and ever so slightly sweet with a light dusting of cornmeal. It may be that my cheeses and mustard aren't right either, though I have to imagine that they are at least somewhat close. But this is a good sandwich, elemental in its simplicity, but elevated. Garlicky salami fat suffusing this soft bread crumb. Hot melted cheese gluing the mustard, salami's perfect condiment to the meat. And if mine is this good, the real thing can't help but be even better. Will I ever make it back to Montreal? I hope so, if only to rectify the mistake I made the first time around and visit Wilensky's.